Bubblers and venturis are devices that take the air you and I breathe and either push it mechanically through a stone or in the case of venturis, mix the ambient air with the water at a super high speed. Admittedly, this is better than nothing at all to increase your oxygen saturations. If you view the left demonstration, it appears that you are adding a lot of oxygen to the water through a bubbler. However, in reality, it is an inefficient way to raise the oxygen saturation. The air bubbles raise to the surface so quickly they break the surface and return back to the air itself. Additionally, depending upon your sea level, it can only induce the oxygen saturation of the ambient air. Higher elevations mean it takes longer to achieve minimum saturations. So in short, it can only raise the O2 saturation as high as the oxygen content in the air it is pulling from. In fact, in some cases, it actually may be counterproductive because the bubbler will take what dissolved oxygen it did create and blow it back to the surface where it again escapes as a gas. Now, looking at the right video of our O2 Model 2020, we electronically begin separation of the oxygen molecule from the hydrogen molecule. The hydrogen gas molecule, being lighter than an oxygen molecule, quickly rise to the surface and escape back into the air. And the pure 100% oxygen molecule, called a nanobubble, are so small they cannot break the surface and therefore get re dissolved raising the dissolved oxygen level 50% more than what bubblers can achieve. Maybe the best thing about this technology is not only, only effectively raising the oxygen saturation, we did it with no moving parts, no noise, and only a half amp of electricity with the emitter we are demonstrating, of which was designed to superoxygenate 10 to 20 gallons of water in only a few hours.